Give it to him. Welcome to CB Radio Show and Tell. All right, I'm number one. This is Wizard88. We're going to show you something today that I made that's going to save the beginner or the amateur novice, the regular CB radio guy that has a pile of microphones like me laying around, but they came with no ends on them. And you're going to have a problem because some of these are no-name microphones, and I'm sure you guys that are smart with voltmeters, you guys have voltmeter. You guys that use a voltmeter like me, you'll know how to use the voltmeter and check it with the ohm setting. Yeah. Ohm. Anyway, you'll be able to check it with the ohms, and you'll be able to see what this microphone's doing. But the novice guy is not going to know that and isn't going to use that. So I came up with a quick, easy way to help somebody fix this to work on a 4-pin or 5-pin plug easily for under 8 bucks. You need one mic plug, and you need a box of these from Harbor Freight. They are low voltage alligator, alligator clips. You're gonna cut them in half, and what you're gonna make is this. You're gonna put them on here, and you'll see that I color coded this. See how there's four colors there? Yeah. See how there are four color wires? Yeah. Now you know what position each wire goes to, and you can take these plug this into your four pin radio and i made a five pin version of this too okay. see there's yellow red how white, many come in the pack there's i don't know enough <laughs> 10 set this of 10 is... you go to harbor freight and you get this for 349 i think it was three bucks all right so you're going to take this and you're going to some of these guys i mean most everybody knows the shield is that but if you're hooked up to a radio with a goofy Grab that midland that's over there. There's a the third one down. There's a if you're hooked up to like a radio, you've got Cobra radios and you've got Cobra microphones, and you don't know what this midland has. Here, come here, bring that oh, midland. Stuck under All right. Screen. And you'll see this midland has a four-pin plug, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's say you got a four-pin Cobra mic and you plug it into that. It's not gonna work. And if you're a new guy to the hobby, you wouldn't know why that don't work. But there's different wiring for each pin. So what you do is you make one of these, you plug this in there. Get in there, you gotta find the spot. I need my glasses. There we go. You plug it into here, right? So now you've got four of these alligator clips. Hold this, I'm gonna show these guys what's going on. All right, so now you've got four wires here and you just clip them on each wire Instead of soldering, hold on, I need my glasses, man. Do you need help? I need my glasses. I can't see. Here. Glasses are upstairs. I know. We're not gonna... So you clip them on here, right, in all four positions. Let's just say like this. Boy, that's a slippery little connector there. There we go. Clip it on. Clip this one on here. And let's say you were working on it, and you key it, and it doesn't work. And now you know that's not the configuration you need. So all you have to do is gently unclip them. Hold it up a little higher there, Chief. All right. All right. So now you unclip them, and you find the configuration with this without unsoldering and soldering every time. What's the problem with soldering and unsoldering? You can burn yourself. You burn your fingers all the time if you're trying to mess with this. So if you know the configuration after you've got, let's say you got it, and it's hooked up, yeah. and now it works, yeah, right? Like, yeah. And you got receive and you got transmit on that radio. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now all you got to do is look. If you look at the shield, the covering here, I did the same colors where the position would be for each wire. So yeah. now you know when you unplug it, which one goes where. And you just solder that same configuration to an end for this microphone, and voila! You've got every microphone in your parts bin, basket, bunch, working. Go get that basket. We're going to blow your mind. We've got a mountain microphones but you always seem to find the ones that are missing there's only the like end. half of them too. There's yeah another, this another. is a, there's another we got another two boxes too here's how's this for microphone box we got is it heavy yes it's heavy yeah it's all right like 24 pounds all right probably more than that dude yeah we'll weigh that in a future video all right but that's how you make something very cheap that's gonna help you even in the future, let's say you do this, you make this little thing. Yeah. Oh, you only had to solder these four jumper clips on here. I cut them in half. They come, they come with clip on each side. So I just cut them in the middle. 
and then I solder those on the end of this. And voila, you've got a simple tool for five pin and a four pin, and you'll never be confused with, oh man, I wish I could use, this is a pretty cool looking mic, I don't know if it's any good or not. Banana it's mic. A, it's a banana mic. No, like, what's the label? I don't know what that is. What is that? I don't know, I'll see if somebody else knows what that is. Here, hold on, we're gonna put it. Anybody know what that emblem stands for? We have no clue. Probably out of gas. Maybe that's what it's... Hold on, there's a name on the back. It's Dynamic a, Microphone. Uh, it's Model. Not, it's made in Indonesia. It's an MP... Indonesia. What's that number there? I can't see 600 that. 600 and then... Uh, 612? 600 ohms. Oh, no, not that. This is 612. Oh, yeah, 600 ohms. Hold on, what's that model number there? I can't see it. I don't have my glasses. PM222U. There's a PM22U. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> but if you had a pile of microphones, you could easily wire them to whatever radio you want because you made this simple tool to do this with. Now I see the guys that have the, uh, I don't have a regular microphone by me. I see the guys that have the microphone testers where you plug them in yeah. and it's a female end box and it'll tell you if it's good and you can kind of play with that. That's a good tool too, but this will help the guy that needs to figure out this. This is a nightmare. Because if you sit there soldering each wire and it don't work, guess what you get to do? Burn yourself. You get to burn yourself day. and the you next get to three re seconds every single time. Yeah, and you get to re-solder that a different configuration. And then if it don't work again, what happens? You burn yourself again. And then you get to do what again? Burn yourself again. And then you get to do that one more time because then you finally figure out the configuration. Whereas you could just clip these wires on there four different ways, look at the color configuration. Write it down on paper, and voila, fixed. There we go. That's simple. Yeah. You like that idea? That's actually really smart. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. So I made a five pin, a four pin, because those are the most common to do. And by putting the paint marks on there, it will help you recognize what wire went to what position. It's kind of a fun little device. I came up with this at work. I'm sure 200 other guys have already had this idea. Yeah, most likely. But for the novice guy that doesn't know... There's an $8 fix to help you make your microphone wiring days less stressful and no burned fingertips, right? Yeah. What do you think of that? That's a really cool. If you look at this, then they're actually all like connected the same. So yeah. you have to put them. Yeah, you'd never know what wire went to what spot. Yeah, because right? there's electric tape on the end to hold them together. That, and then you can't see where the wires go inside of here without marking it with paint. Yeah. So I marked it with paint, and then this way you know each position. Makes it easy. Hopefully this helps somebody out there. We hope that you don't struggle with this because years and years I did this the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> I was soldering it and oh, son of a bugger, it doesn't work. So now I've got to unsolder it and then solder it a different way. And then I had the books, but some of the microphones won't be in the books because you'll have an oddball like this Banana. that you won't know what's going on, but they all have a shield, ground hot. You'll have an audio wire in there. And uh, I may try to wire this to something. We'll see if it works. Maybe. All right, everybody. Have a good day. We hope this helped you out there. Be cool. Be cool.